would say in their mechatronics. And I have certain views about where I'd like to take the UB next year. However, I realize that I am a white, cis, male, straight person in this faculty. I don't represent people who need to be represented. And uh, this is a problem because I can't fully understand what people need in the faculty. So my campaign is about setting up structures to make sure that that the faculty council understands what students need. So we're going to, I'd like to set up structures that throughout the year, constantly, not just during the selection period, students will be able to find out, students will be able to let the faculty council know what they need. My name is Olivier, and I'm going to say you, and um, Pele and Sergeant and Sergeant and Sergeant. Um, the reason which motivated me to run for the Eastern Council is that I believe that we all have power to make change in the world that our existence here make a difference in someone else's life. And as someone who volunteer to teach our community, I've seen how our power, our, our knowledge we have, we can use it to help the students which, which are still outside or which are still in high school. And also another thing which made me out is that I believe that we can do well with our academics. Where we came in the university, we came with all with A's. But what happens when you get to second years or first years when you start failing? So I believe that there is a way in which we can coordinate our, our academics so we can improve that. And also, in addition to that, I uh, have to do with transformation, whereby I would like us to continue the process of transformation, whereby we as engineering students, we get to engage with one another so that we can make a better sort of I'm sure to give Francis speech or give fantastic quotes. My message is very simple. It's to the point, it's swift, and it's clear. Leadership does not go without servitude. The two are not synonymous. And I'm standing there in front of you because I'm telling you that I am availing, making myself available to serve you guys. That is what I want to do. And with that, I guarantee that I will serve diligently and I will strive to do my best and to give it my all so that whatever task we may face will be conquered. My name is Craig Pikes and I urge you to vote for me to serve you. Hello, my name is Saul Morris. I'm a first year mechatronics student. And as a first year, I've had a lot of experience around here, but what I have seen is that lots of people, lots of people, have struggled with their academics, finance, finance, or social. And when we talk about us as a student council, we talk about big issues and things, but really it's down every day. What are you doing for the students around you? How can you help them with small issues and the big issues? So therefore, I'm running. As your, your friend, your, the person that you come to, the person that gets you through what you need to do and get it done. So, as Silver Morris, I love you. Hi everyone, my name is Kensani de Clare. Okay, so I'm here as a real person uh, wanting to represent real issues by real people, which is all of you and obviously people who can make it. Um, firstly, I'd like to just start with what I know is definite. I have a commitment for excellence, I'm persistent, I'm organized, and I, um, I'm extremely passionate about the faculty, academically and in terms of transformation. Um, I could come here and sell you a whole bunch of ideas, but uh, I'd just like to say what I'd like to put on the table, um, and what I stand strong in, and that is inclusivity, uh, diversity and sustainability. Um, and also, please, because I'm going to to one minute, please do feel free to ask questions about these topics. Students are mimicking the real world, and I don't see it like that at all. I see students that are accepting responsibility as active members in society, and they're not waiting around for someone to give them a gold star of approval and send them on their way. They're dealing with real issues in real time. And I think the biggest challenge that we face is complacency, and I'm saying, I'm Chloe Bolton, and I'm getting involved. Hello everyone, I'm Juliana Denise. I'm also a first year civil engineering student. We are running together. Our campaign is basically, um, basically about transformation to sustainability. We, we have this idea that all the mind, mind insight that we can get in, in the people now in tertiary education is going to, to be what is going to be society in the future. So as I said, we want to change things now so we can, have, can see here and in society outside of the campus that changed during the years. So I'm here also to serve you guys and to try to do my best to change all the issues that 
we have in the moment and in the future. Hello everyone, my name is Navia and my aim as an EBE Council representative would be to create a more socially aware and unified environment. I'm a geomatic student and I feel there's a little bit of division amongst the built environment and the engineering students and we create a more unified environment. Um, being part of the EBE Council is a great opportunity to serve you, make a difference and hopefully bring about some change and if you trust me, I would really like to serve you. So please vote for me, my name is Nanda. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Matthias Scholz, I'm a second year electronic and computer engineer and uh, basically why I'm standing in front of you is because I believe in that there's a need to change and alter the syllabus and there are many reasons why um, why we, can, why we should do that, ranging from making it a bit more um, suitable for the South African context, the reason for transformation, but also streamlining and making the sort of the course content and um, the degrees in general a bit more efficient. As an example, courses that have multiple modules that are just, I, I don't know, people, yeah, we, we have sort of this, this issue um, that the courses are not streamlined, and I think that. Um, there is this need to change the syllabus. And I know that that's been going on, at least in the electrical engineering department, but I think that students need their voice to be heard, that we need to have that, um, the, the opportunity to get involved in providing feedback and sort of saying what generally needs to be said, so that we ultimately turn our views on the Hello everyone, my name is Tony Susan Jamini. I know I'm in an overall, but not here representing the EFF. Not here, you know, like the political agenda. I'm here standing for your agenda. I want to know what you want in the EBE. I have identified like three issues in the EBE. First is international students find it hard to get vacation work. So how can we solve that? So I want us to have a conversation on how we could actually solve that. And amongst us, we're not from the same backgrounds, and amongst us we have people that have difficulties and you do not have like the females per day. So how could we actually come up with a solution and actually probably do our food is just fun and actually supply food for our fellow students? And thirdly, I want to create, bring about integration within all the disciplines of the engineering and both environment. Yes. Thanks. Um, hello everyone, my name is Mila Bojan, I'm a second year construction student. And it's gonna sound repetitive, but we have all, almost all of us here have the same ideas, we have the same concerns. I'm sure the students, you guys all have the same concerns as well. With regards to the international students, like you said, vocational work, very hard for us to find. I'm trying to, um, one of my agendas is to probably go through career services to help international students find back work either here in South Africa or back home. Another one is um, our academics. Most students aren't happy with like the weightings of their courses. You can, some people do full year courses to only get 16 credits or 4 credits. So probably find ways for the departments, head departments and teams to reevaluate their course weightings so they make to so the students have an easier way to pass. But we don't want students to struggle and make it all the way to university only to struggle and not make it out of university. So we need to find ways to make sure the students always have it easy for them to make successful in the future and also find a way to have a pleasant university life. My name is Malibu Jank, please vote for me. Good afternoon. I'm Christopher Bretons and I have four aims for an EBE student council. I have an aim for representation. I believe that the, student, the EBE Student Council should sufficiently represent not only the engineering students, but the students in the built environment. I also believe in cooperation. I believe that we should cooperate, we should have more cooperation within the programs within the faculty, and I also believe in cooperation with perhaps the other faculties, with the other student councils, see what um, debate issues within the whole campus, rather than just the engineering council, I mean, the EBE itself. I also believe in inspiration. There are people in this faculty who are doing amazing work and yet we don't really hear about it half the time. So I believe that not only to inspire, uh, we could inspire the students within the faculty not only, and enable them to enable them uh, to 
grow not only personally but academically as well. And finally, I also believe in transformation. Um, it is the big topic this year, and I believe it's very important to consult the students on this. The students should be the driving force in this regard, and also believe in investigating discrimination in faculty. So, yeah, good. Thanks.